In this week's title of Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the table calculation, specifically rank, to find the highest selling item per state. Let's get started. First off, before I build a map, I'm just going to build it as a table to make sure that I get the calculation correct. So I'm going to drag state to the rows, and within each state, I want to know each subcategory. And then I'm going to go ahead and put sales in the view. And now we can see the sales for each subcategory within each state. I'm going to go ahead and sort those in descending order. So the idea now is that for Alabama, I want to show chairs as the highest selling category. For Arizona, I want to show phones. For Arkansas, binders, etc. And then I'm going to display those on a map. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to create a rank calculation. So I'm just going to call this sales rank. And all I need to do is I just need to do rank, and then I'm going to drag in my sum of sales. Oop, looks like my calculation fell away there. There we go. So we're going to do the rank, sum sales. All right, and I need one more bracket, and hit OK. And now when I put sales rank into the view, and I, uh, I need to compute this, for every uh, state. So I wanted to restart every time I get to a different state. That's what this table calculation is doing. It's saying compute the rank by sales category within each state. Or you could think of it as restart every time you get to a new state. And you can see I have one for chairs, one for phones, and as I go down, I can see all of the ones. Okay, perfect. So I have that looking the way I want. So all I need to do is drag sales to the filter shelf. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drag sales to the rows, and it's much easier to filter if I make it discrete. There we go. So you see 1 through 16. Now I can drag sales rank to the filters and choose 1. Now I could have done this with a continuous, uh, continuous measure for rank, but I prefer to do it this way. Okay, so here we go. So we have the state, we have the subcategory, so let's just move everything to the detail shelf. We've got a bit of a mess here, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to move sales to the detail shelf, and then I just want to get latitude and longitude in the view. And uh, because I am located in the UK, I get lots of unknown locations. So I need to go ahead and change my location to USA, and then all of my states should populate. Okay, there we go. So now I want to put subcategory onto the color shelf, and I'm going to make the mark type a map. And now I can see the highest selling subcategory in each state. So I'm going to also put subcategory onto the label shelf. And we can see phones is the highest selling subcategory in, it looks like, maybe 10 or 12 states. Machines is in three states. Bookcases in two, etc. So a really simple way to use the rank calculation to find the highest selling subcategory within each state. This obviously would be very applicable within uh, lots of other examples. For example, you might want to find the, um, the highest selling subcategory within each segment or within each ship mode, something like that. In this example, I just wanted to show it on a map because the question I was trying to answer was, and I'll just go ahead and put this in the title, what is the top selling subcategory in each state? So very simple question, and this is the way that you can answer it. And again, using the rank calculation. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. Have a good day.